I have been pretty deep into some pro services stuff over the past week. So this is a workflow that I actually made in my own time. Um, so I need to hop into my personal VM here and make sure there's some separation. Perfect. All right, so everyone likes uh, Azure AI Cognitive Services, right? It's, it's fun. Um, what I want to do with this workflow is have something that can take in our phone calls um, that we get that get recorded by our system uh, and then get a summary of what happened in the conversation and then put it back into the ticket and manage. Um, basically, if anyone's familiar with like Firefly's AI where they have a uh, AI join the meeting, listen to what you say and then give you a recap, um, basically that but for service tickets. So. It's a pretty quick workflow. Most of this happens on the API side of the cognitive services for speech, which um, I'll be posting a little bit more of on my blog, similar to how I posted about the bot framework. So that is coming very soon. Um, but let's just dive right in and run through it. So first up, we are getting a key vault key. Um, something that I learned recently is in the security tab, um, there is redacted input and output parameters, and I am redacting value here. Um, that way, when we have these executions, the actual legitimate key vault key is not just sitting as plain text in those executions. Um, and then similarly, with this specific API, you need to send that key as a header. Um, so on all tasks where I do that, I'm just blanking out headers in the input. Um, but anyway, once we have that key, uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed to create a batch transcription. Um, this is pretty simple. Um, we have a endpoint here that we get when we sign up for the cognitive services. Um, so our region, uh, API for cognitive, what we want to do is we're using the speech text module and then transcription endpoint. Uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and send in a content URL. Uh, so I am hosting a short demo call in my blob storage, which was also made by AI. So just a kind of dummy conversation. Um, so I'm pointing it to that and we're making it a JSON string. Uh, locale is US display time or display name is just what the recording is called. So I'm just doing UTC now. Uh, so we have a somewhat unique value. Uh, and then the properties here is just what languages it's be listening for. I'm just keeping it at the default of US, EN US and Spanish. Um, and then this model here, you are able to upload custom models to cognitive services for speech. Uh, null just means I don't have one, just use whatever the default is. So once we've sent that, uh, it's gonna go ahead and get the uh, request to start a batch processing job. Uh, I have the input variable for this as a list because you can actually have multiple URLs in there. You send it once, hence the start patch job. Um, does take a little bit of time, about 20, 30 seconds per recording. So I have something down here that will check the status of it. Um, so once we actually send this out in the response, there's a self URL you can ping to see if it's either in progress or done. Um, so we're just checking that. Uh, if it shows the status of succeeded, we move on. Otherwise we wait 20 seconds and check again. Uh, once it does say succeeded though, um, we're going to go ahead and get the results out of that, um, which is the same self URL, just slash files now. Uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and get the content out of that file link it gave us. And then we are going to feed that straight into AI. So system message, you're an AI summary generator for IT service desk. Uh, you're fed transcripts that transcribe it and summarize it in no more than a few sentences. Uh, audience will be internal IT technicians. And then for the user message, we feed it the display text. So all together, we'll go ahead and rerun this because it already has our URL in there. We can see we've gotten the key from Key Vault. We're creating a batch. Uh, we're checking the service and it still shows a response of running. Um, so we're going to drop down into this delay to recheck. It's going to wait and usually this runs once or twice. While you're waiting, since you use Key Vault, how did you get it so we're not logging your keys and plain text in Roost? Yep, so that's the um, security tab we have up here um, where I've just put in the redacted output parameter of value. Um, so if we go down to the execution, we can see value shows as redacted now. So we can't just run this and then grab our actual key out of there. Um, then similarly, when we do like create batch, you can see the headers are redacted um, because one of the headers for that is the actual key vault key that we need to get out this OCP thing here. Uh, looks like it's done. So we have gotten the status of it and that came back as succeeded. Uh, so we've moved on to getting the results link, uh, getting the content from that, storing it in a Jinja variable, and then just doing an AI summarize. So in our context here, the very last one should be called summary. 
And we can see the user called the IT support desk for assistance while applying an update, which required admin access. The technician remoted into the PC, guided them through the process, and explained the process could be used for other applications in the future. So next steps, this is like just the very basic building blocks of this. Um, I want to start intaking and matching calls to tickets as they come in, um, and then ultimately generating a sentiment analysis for our service desk manager. So we can be sent reports that run through the very same endpoints that we're doing the transcription from that also do sentiment analysis and say, hey, the system is saying these people on these calls were a lot more frustrated than you know the baseline for it. You should probably take a listen to those calls and see what's going on. Um, just a lot easier way to to get a good handle of how conversations are going. And Aaron, just for you, I want to go over something else I've done here. Um, as part of the response from that content, there is a uh, duration and ticks <laughs> of the recording. So I'm taking that and I'm making it into seconds. And then on the summary, I'm going time savings, time saved. So we are logging time savings for however long the duration of the call is, because we're not listening to that call. So if the call is a minute and a half, we're logging a minute and a half of time savings. 